Imagine if your house could talk right back to you about its day and what's been going on in your absence. Well, welcome to the world of home automation. I sat down with home automation expert Vaynard Ackerman of Untamed Tech to find out more. Everybody's got a little bit of a different idea of what home automation is. Um, historically, if you watch the movies, you'll watch the American like multi-million dollar homes where people walk in and they talk to the system and things like that. So people have always had this perception that home automation is for the rich and famous. So the idea that we've had is to bring home automation to the average person in South Africa and do it as affordable as possible. Um, so home automation to me personally, I started off and I just wanted things to be able to control it from my phone. Um, so you install a little Wi-Fi smart switch and I open my phone and I tap, tap it and my lights come on. And that to me was, that was home automation. That was the coolest thing I could ever do. And everybody that came to my home, I'm like, dude, check at this. You tap your phone and the light switch is on and everybody literally goes, wow, that's like in the movies. But slowly as you progress through the systems and you start branching into more products and looking at more little things, you start realizing that home automation is quite a broad, broad field. You've got light switches, you've got timers, you've got the voice activation systems, you've got smart speakers that can talk back to you and listen to certain commands and certain trigger words. Um, like the Google speakers, you've got a certain word that you have to say to activate her and then she'll do a command for you. Um, anything from what is the weather, set my alarm clock for me, um, set a timer, or my most important one is set reminders. Because there's so many times in the day, because there's so many things you're doing, and you get distracted and sidetracked and the little things you forget. So as soon as you remember something, you just ask Google, set a reminder for this, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., do a quotation for a client. Now, technology in general is always expensive, and in this case, is it the case? You can go as expensive as you want. Um, there's a lot of systems out there that are extremely ex expensive. Um, a lot of the competing systems, like a starter kit, will start you off at 150,000 Rand. That's just for them to put their foot in the door. Um, with our, our Sonoff products, the cheapest product is 120 Rand. And it's a basic inline switch. You connect it onto your bedside lamp and it's just there to turn it on and off. But you can start your home automation journey with 120 Rand. And it's considered DIY. Literally clip the, the wire for your bedside lamp off, live and neutral in, live and neutral out. You don't even need an electrician to do something like that. Now, what makes home automation such a, an important lifestyle that people need to experience? Look, to me personally, it makes my life that little bit easier. Um, and in today's lifestyles of being rushed and stressed and freaked out and, and I suffer from stress badly a lot of the times because there's so many things you're dealing with. Um, and to have something in your home that just makes your life that little bit easier, that saves you a few seconds here or a few seconds there. Um, something as simple as like walking into the bathroom and the light just switches on automatically where you don't have to go and touch a light switch or press a light switch. Um, walking out, going to bed and just saying good night to Google and she sets your alarm clock for the next morning, she tells you what's the weather like tomorrow morning and then she turns the entire house off for you so you don't have to stress and to, like, did I turn the kitchen light off? And then you'll drive yourself nuts for the, five min for, for the next five minutes and then jump up and go look, if the light is off, okay it was off, damn it, okay. So it, it's little things like that. I haven't touched a remote in my house for probably a year and a half. I haven't touched a light switch in almost a year because all everything is with motion sensors. It just works. And you kind of get into that routine where you just expect it to happen. And when you're out of your, your home environment, it's very easy that your brain goes back to that mode and you, you almost feel out of place and almost uncomfortable when you're not in a smart home. So it, it's a fun thing to have, but it is just saving that little bit of time, saving that little bit of effort out of, out of not getting out of bed to switch a light off and things like that, just so you can relax and just shut down for the evenings and things like that. So if the future is here, what does it look like? 
Vaynard takes us around his home to show us some of the cool and inexpensive gadgets he installed. The coolest part for me in a smart home is having a little bit of a smart home theater system. Um, having your lighting effects match your, your mood for the movie. Um, so I'll run, a, run that through to you with you guys quickly now. Hey Google, close the living room curtains. And of course, once your curtains are closed, you can actually ask Google to start watching your favorite movie. In my case, I'll just say, hey Google, it's time to watch Netflix. And then she'll start all the lighting effects for you. She'll start up Netflix, turn on the TV, the amplifier, and you're all ready to watch Netflix. So basically, if you're ever in a situation where your mood lighting or your accent lighting is not appropriate for the situation, let's say you have guests over and it's too dim or too, too colorful for a normal conversation, uh, what you can do in the situation is just literally ask Google, hey Google, change the living room lighting to white. Everybody in South Africa is, is worried about security, being hacked, all that kind of stuff. So the system does require when you start off the first time to register an account. So you've got your email address and you choose your specific password. You need that to op open your application, to access your devices. Also, all these devices can be shared with family members and friends, but they need their own eWeLink accounts. Um, take for example, the husband is the main account holder and you've got your wife and your two children and you would like to share all these smart devices with them. Each person would register their own eWeLink account and obviously choose their passwords. Once they've got these accounts, you as the master account holder can then share these devices to those eWeLink specific accounts. Okay, so one of the coolest and probably most relevant innovations in the smart home industry in South Africa is smart door locks. Everybody is concerned about security. Everybody's got bigger security systems, smarter security systems. And one of the key things that we're very proud to actually have and offer to our clients is a smart door lock. Now that smart door lock has got quite a few options to unlock. First off, you start with a thumbprint unlock or any other fingers. You can have up to 50 people unlock your door as well. So it is an option for like the bed and breakfasts or just home users as well, or the bigger families. You've also got a smart tag, which is an RFID tag specifically coded to your specific person. Uh, you've got a six digit pin code that you, can that you can use to unlock the door. Also the door has a remote request unlock function as well. So if I'm, let's say front of the door, and I need it to be unlocked, I press nine hash, and the person that's the master account holder will get a request from their phone to unlock. They can verify if the person is there or if it's a genuine request to unlock, and they can just approve it and the door will unlock. The other option that a lot of people also are always concerned with security on especially smart locks is what if the batteries run out? because they do work off batteries and they should last for about six months. But what happens in the case if the batteries do go? These smart locks also come with a manual key that you can unlock the door with as well. And it's got a little micro USB connector. So you can also add an emergency case, plug in a power bank just to power it so you can get through the door to actually replace the four batteries on them. One of our other very, very popular products is the smart Wi-Fi glass touch replacement panel. Um, yes, that's a mouthful, but in, in, in basic form, it's replacing your existing light switch with a smart Wi-Fi controlled light switch. Uh, so the glass panels are actually touch sensitive light switches. So when you press, press it, it actually touches the light, you soft touch again, and the light turns off. Okay, so one of the coolest little features here is having a Google Mini Smart Speaker mounted in the ceiling. Um, you can ask Google, hey Google, 
What's the weather? Currently in Johannesburg, it's 23 degrees and mostly cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 26 and a low of 14. Or I can just ask Google to turn on the bathroom extractor fan. Or if you're in the shower and you feel like a little bit of music. Hey Google, play some music on Spotify, please. All right, music on Spotify. Here you go. Takes a few seconds to come in. It's fun to have. Your EV-Link application that comes with the Sonoff is free, but it, it is sometimes limiting on what you can do and the more advanced features that a lot of the more enthusiast guys want. So there is a product called Home Assistant. It is free. It is Linux based, so a lot of the guys will run it on a Raspberry Pi or like I do on an old laptop on a virtual machine. So basically what it does is it ties in all the different brands, all the different applications into one place. So you can build a dashboard like you're seeing in front of, in front of you now, where you can split it into a room and you can actually control your devices straight from a dashboard like this. Uh, study Mainlight where we are right now. I can click on it, switch it off, click on it, switch it on. You can also set this up to be the same as the app on your phone. So you can do all of this remotely. Like now, currently, you can see the living room, all the lights are on there. With one click, I can turn all the lights off in the living room. Or in the bedroom, I can see how much power my mains is pulling now with one of the TV switches. The study currently is 867. Pull switch, that's running zero because the pool is not running at the moment. But you can add your weather cards, all of that kind of stuff. And then also what is very nice is you can add a product called Grafana and you can actually pull your power monitoring and build a dashboard to see live graphs. Um, there's our main switch that shows you exactly what's the wattage, current, voltage. There's a geezer just to show you on the timer. We've got the study, the laundry, the bedroom, the garage, the pool, the living room, and obviously the kitchen tanks and things like that as well. Um, and you can set this to show you the last eight hours or the last 30 days if you want.